I mean, this isn't exactly the content I came for. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 32nd episode of the show Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 187th episode overall titled, Do I Know You? We begin this episode in the mountains where Tommy and Adam are biking together to some generic 90s tune. Honestly, this sequence goes on like a little bit too long, but whatever. They stop and Tommy says, 10 more miles and then we'll call it a day. And Adam is struggling through this workout, evidently. Meanwhile, in the power chamber, Kat is with Alpha trying to figure out who exactly the Gold Ranger is. Tanya and Rocky are there too, helping her. They've run out of ideas. Rocky says he's confused as to where he even got his powers from. And Kat says that they should find the pyramid and then they'll find him. Then Billy just lets us know that he has something to take care of and he'll be back later. We get it, Billy. Just leave. Meanwhile, in space, Pyramidus is going for a cruise, I guess. I mean, it's apparently coming back to land on Earth. Like, when did it leave? An old woman and her little dog see Pyramidus landing, and they start freaking out, which makes sense, I would too. Then the earth shakes as Tommy and Adam get tossed from their bikes. Then Pyramidus finally lands as the dog runs away. Then we see the Gold Ranger who initiates the invisibility shield. Then Tommy and Adam contact Zordon to see if anything's going on, because they just got thrown from their freaking bikes. Then we see the Gold Ranger coming down a ladder, and as he walks out of frame, a monster named Verox appears behind him. Also, Mondo is mad that nothing has been working, so he commands that they send down all their cogs to Earth. In the detective agency, Bulk and Skull are pretending to be on the phone when Stone comes in. Then, here comes the old lady. Her name is Mrs. Filler, and she's looking for them, even though Bulk tells her Bingo is next door, which is actually pretty funny. Then Mrs. Filler tells them that she's looking for her missing dog, Princess. They take the case. Adam and Tommy haven't found anything yet, and Tanya and them agree that it had to be the pyramid because they saw its energy signatures. Then Bulk and Skull inspect dog footprints out in the mountains again, and as they look, cogs keep walking past behind them. Of course, there's a joke about how nothing gets past them. Oh, also, Skull sets Bulk's foot on fire? Seriously? Meanwhile, Tommy and Adam are walking around, talking about how it couldn't be an earthquake because there's no ground cracks, and earthquakes don't create wind. Okay. Then they see the cogs. Rocky suggests that they might be looking for the pyramid too, and Tommy and Adam will stay out of sight, letting them go find it for them. Then the cogs just find them instead, so there's really no point to that. It's morphin' time. Red and Green take on the cogs, and Adam is using his bike to help him fight. The Gold Ranger is standing out of his zord, and he senses that the rangers are in trouble. He runs off, and Verox appears behind him, chasing him. Tommy and Adam are also severely struggling, so they call him back up. It's morphin' time. Pink, yellow, and blue show up, helping red and green with the cogs. Rocket then tells Mondo how the rangers interrupted their search party. Also, Kat gets hit onto the ground, and she screams for Tommy, because of course... My god, Kat deserved so much better than this. Then she gets saved by Tommy. Then our other female ranger just gets tossed through the air. Hashtag stop making Kat a damsel in distress. The rangers get cornered by the cogs, and luckily here comes the gold ranger who takes on all the cogs. The rangers agree to help him. In space, Clank finds Verox, who is also there. They realize it's not one of theirs, and they're confused as to what is happening. Mondo and Sprocket are going down to figure out what's going on with him. Then the gold ranger uses his gold rush attack, blowing the absolute crap out of the cogs. The others approach him to ask him some questions like they've been doing, and Verox is just hiding in the bushes nearby. Then Mondo and Sprocket show up, interrupting Verox. They introduce themselves, and Verox says that he's here to take the pyramid pilot's power. Mondo then says if they work together, they'll both get what they want. Then Tommy introduces himself to the Gold Ranger, and he's struggling with telling them anything for some reason. Then explosions show up around them. Verox walks in, and the Gold Ranger says that it's a battle against the two of them. He then just blows up everything around the Gold Ranger before the Gold Ranger gets hit with some weird kind of ray. The other rangers call it the Zeo Cannon, firing at Verox, hitting him down. The others try to help the Gold Ranger, and he tells them that he can't tell them who he is because he'll lose his powers. What? That's new. They're trying to help him, but then he just passes out. Clank and Orbis show up, making Verox grow giant. Kat then tells Alpha to teleport the Gold Ranger to the power chamber, and Alpha just immediately agrees. Like, what if this dude's like a sleeper cell? Gold Ranger is gone, and the others call it their Zeo Zords, forming the Zeo Megazord. The Megazord and Verox fight against one another for a bit before we're back in the power chamber. We see that the Gold Ranger is there waking up. He is super impressed by the outfit of this place, and he knows Alpha and Zoran's name somehow. He then just teleports away. Also, Verox just disappeared down a hole in the Megazord battle. <laughs> wow, how, how big is that damn hole? Then he comes back out and they slash him before they just slash him again, killing Verox. R.I.P. dude who wasn't even a part of the Machine Empire. Way they just killed some random dude rangers, and not even need the Ultra Zord. Mondo obviously says how they're going to get them next time or whatever, because he's incredibly useless at this point. At the office, Bulk and Skull get startled as Mrs. Filler and Stone come in, and she explains that the dog somehow got home and was under the sofa. So since they already cashed her check, they have to do a laundry list of chores for her. Then Stone and Mrs. Filler leave, 
and Bulk says it's fine because they have Goldar and Rito still. Remember? Because I keep forgetting. Everyone's at the power chamber and Billy shows up and Alpha explains how the Gold Ranger knew them. And Zordon says, well, he'd only know us if we knew him. Thanks for the great deduction and logic, Zordon. What would we do without you? Then everyone stares at Billy again because of course. The end. Man, this show is really dragging ass. I have to admit that before, this season started out super strong story-wise, and it's had glimpses of something bigger happening ever since. But man, these last few episodes have really dragged on and on. I mean, it's not season two level of bad whatsoever, but it feels like they're trying to power through a lot of footage because they can, just to get to a part that they actually want to, which I don't think that was truly required for them to do with the footage of what they're working with here. They're just doing it just to do it at this point, like this entire secret of the Gold Ranger's identity thing. The Japanese footage doesn't mandate it at all. Also, I just realized something. Why the hell was this episode called Do I Know You? I honestly assumed this episode was going to be about some memory loss shenanigans, but no. It's more of them asking, do we actually already know who the Gold Ranger is? Which they started like six episodes ago at this point. I think this episode would have been better called like Hunter's Bounty or something generic like that, but whatever. So yeah, here we are again, hoping and praying that next time we finally get some real traction on the Gold Ranger storyline. And what's this? The next episode will actually do just that? Stay tuned for that, but until then, may the power protect you. Mm -hmm.